I came to church today to celebrate Easter, eat pancakes, tell people that Jesus had risen, and then have them tell me he has risen indeed, and to see pretty Easter dresses and handsome Easter suits and ties. What a glorious morning. Last year on Easter Sunday, I saw a double rainbow. Today, I was looking for those special things, and I didn't find any. I came to church, and there was no rainbow, and no pretty dresses, no handsome suits or ties, and there were no pancakes. I wanted to find what I like about Easter. I didn't even get a chocolate bunny from my mom. Man, this stinks. You know, on the first Easter morning, some of Jesus' disciples went to the tomb where Jesus was put when he was dead. It had only been 36 hours. That's like a sleep, a whole day, and another sleep. It had been 36 hours since they had taken Jesus' dead body from the cross and put it in the tomb and then rolled the huge stone in front of the tomb and closed up Jesus' body in the cave. But now, when they arrived, it was different. It was weird. It wasn't at all like they thought. It was horrible. The huge stone, it was rolled away from the entrance of the cave. And Jesus' body, it was gone. The woman and the men that went The women started crying, and the men went home. It's not fair. In the book of John, it says that Mary Magdalene stayed at the tomb, and she was crying. She was crying, and then she looked in the tomb, and she saw two white men clothed in white robes. And they were sitting right where Jesus' body was laid. And the angels asked her, why are you crying? I bet you she thought to herself, what do you mean, why am I crying? I'm crying because I came here to see my dead friend. And now he's gone. What she said to them was, they have taken my Lord away. She thought that someone had stolen Jesus' body. You see, Mary was looking to show respect to Jesus who had passed away, to give honor to him and his legacy. But what she found was an empty tomb. Now, if you were at church today, what would we be looking for? What kind of hunt does Crosstown have on Easter Sunday? Maybe you can spot a couple of them. I hid them in our display. It's an empty tomb. We have an empty tomb hunt here at Crosstown every Easter. The disciples of Jesus weren't looking for an empty tomb. They were looking for a dead Jesus closed up in a tomb. But Jesus' body wasn't taken. It wasn't stolen. His body burst out in power and victory. Jesus had risen. We look for empty tombs because Jesus is alive. Do you spot some of my empty tombs? We look for empty tombs because Jesus overcame death. You see, we don't need to come to Crosstown to look for empty tombs. We can look for empty tombs any day, anywhere. An empty tomb is a representation of Jesus' power over sin. An empty tomb is Jesus defeating the devil. An empty tomb is me saying no to my sin and yes to Jesus. An empty tomb is loving others. An empty tomb is sharing what I have with others. An empty tomb is me and you growing God's kingdom on earth like it is in heaven. Mary Magdalene went to go look for Jesus, and she was looking for a dead Jesus, but she found an alive Jesus. Where is Jesus now? He's in heaven, and he's preparing a place for you and for me while his spirit is inside of us, giving us empty tomb power every day. 
He has risen. He has risen indeed. Amen.